Welcome to another hunt, uh, Transformers hunt for the Decepticons review. This time we're going to be looking at the Legends class Ravage figure. So here's Ravage in his ranch mode. He's kind of toppled over here because he's laying on his tail. And just right off the bat I can tell you that this is infinitely better than the uh, deluxe uh, figure version because this one doesn't just look like a piece of crap. This one actually kind of looks like a flying vehicle with the wings coming out the side and the nose cone. I mean, it actually had a little bit of thought put into it, which is more than I can say about the deluxe one. Don't the the uh, ravage the I guess robot mode I guess of uh, ravage is really really good. The reentry mode not so good, but this one is actually really good. And, I mean, it just looks like you could just fly around, just like that. So, go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get him transformed. Uh, just fold out the legs here. Fold out these legs out. Then up. Then the back one's down. Fold out the tail. Very simple transformation, but still pretty good. And then... Get the feet situated here. And there he is. He's always going to be kind of like a hunchback. But it's alright. Since he is kind of like usually kind of sneaking around. So it kind of makes sense that he's kind of hunched over. And I love this figure in this mode. Not only is it more scale appropriate. I just like the way it looks better. The face looks a lot better to me. Uh, hold on, let me uh, get a couple figures to compare them with. Alright, so here he is with uh, his bigger deluxe class version. Which, this one looks really good. It looks really nice. Just as a toy, it's not that great. Transfer As a transformer, anyway. And here he is with... Uh, Battle Blade Bumblebee. And you can see him. So this is about the size he was in comparison to when, he, when the Bumblebee killed him in Revenge of the Fallen. So I'm definitely recommending this guy. I mean, it's only a Legends class figure. But, I mean, it makes sense. It would be the perfect addition to your movie collection figures. And plus, it's freaking Ravage. So it can't really go wrong there. Even the, the guns here are pretty neat. Pretty neat. They're not individually hinged, but it's not much. I mean, I can't really think of one thing that's bad about this. So I really do recommend this figure all the way. I was really happy that I saw him because I thought this was going to be a pretty popular figure to get such as uh, Legends Wheelie which I still have never seen in stores. I've only seen one on eBay I think. Of course I haven't really looked for him in a long time but still I thought this would be a hard one to find so it's a great little figure, and it fits in perfectly with your Revenge of Fallen figures. Alright, yeah, definitely, definitely pick this one up. It's a great little figure. Alright, until next time, thank you for watching.